Hi guys. So I thought I would just hop on and do a quick, a quick little live since I haven't done one for a while. Um, so today I thought it would be kind of fun to see like my new routine versus my old routine. So hi, how are ya? So half of my face is my new routine, which is this one. This is mascara. And then this side is my old routine, which is um, Mary Kay. So um, first thing I noticed in the difference, because I used Mary Kay for like 16 years. Hey, Ariana. I used Mary Kay for like 16 years, loved it. That's all I could use on my skin. So um, the first thing I noticed is how instantly my face hurt when I put the Mary Kay on. It feels super dry, kind of tingly, like it immediately pulled all the moisturizer out of my skin and made it hurt. Where this side, the cream is nice and moisturizing and it doesn't do that and doesn't have that effect. So I don't know what else you can see difference wise. I didn't ever fill in my brows. Um, I lined my eyes with a harsh pencil instead of like a soft brush and I did like all the way around my eye which I feel like closes my eye down a little bit. Um, the eyeshadows are different. I do still enjoy my Mary Kay eyeshadows. I just enjoy my mascara ones better. There's the different colors and um, they work really well. Um, but mostly like this side slims my face. So I have some shape on this side that I don't have here. You can see just like the roundness of my cheeks on the Mary Kay side. And this side you can see I have some shape. You can see my cheekbone a little bit better from the contour. So I'm going to just wipe this stuff off my face on this side and just start over because I can't handle having it on my face any longer. So these are our cucumber wipes. They're really gentle, good for all skin types. I can use them on my skin, which is a pretty big deal to me because I can't use them. I use other kinds. I've never found like a wipe that works for me that doesn't make my skin burn. So if you have sensitive skin like I have, um, make sure you try these out because they're awesome. So again, I'm wiping off the half that has Mary Kay makeup on it and leaving my mascara side and we'll see how long I can go without my kids busting into my room because they are on a kick today. I should be out school clothes shopping but I just don't want to. Guys, I am, who's got school clothes shopping done? My son's done, but my two girls that go to school, they're not done. And they're probably not gonna get done today. Let's face it, I don't really wanna go. <laughs> it must be. Are you ready for your kids to go back to school, Ariana? Guys, I'm gonna get close to try to get this off without taking my mascara off my tops. Whew. What grade is crew gonna be in this year? Is he going to first grade? Genius, Ariana. I looked online and I just thought, oh, it would be fun to take them like one at a time. Dirk and I honestly, like, we went on a date and bought tabs because. Dillard's was having a really good sale while we were at the mall, and Tav loved it all. So we didn't have to take Tav out, which he's grateful for because he doesn't really want to go. But the girls, I kind of want Tav pick their own stuff, and I've got online and like loaded carts and then thought, oh, I just need to take them. So they just need some shirts, I think. I can't believe Crew's going into first. That's crazy. God, time flies. Guys, my face feels so much better. Okay, 
I'm gonna put a little bit of my sunblock on. I love this sunblock. If you haven't tried it, this is really, really good sunblock. I got it from um, the spa. The estheticians recommended it while I was there getting stuff done. Just had some laser hair removal done, but I needed a good sunscreen. And they recommend this one is really good for your skin. It's got zinc in it and doesn't have all the chemicals, so it doesn't, it gets good for your face, good for your skin. A little bit of moisture to it. I use this in the morning and I use our milk at night. He wanted you to pick boys, right? Taylor right now though, Taylor even is like, I don't even wanna go. Won't you just get my stuff for me? Tay would much rather just play than actually go. She'd rather just stay home and play. So I'm like, whatever. That's partially why we haven't gone because she hasn't wanted to and neither has Abe. So it's partially why I haven't taken him yet. So. Oh, that feels so much better on my face. I mean, just the look, but God, the way it feels makes my skin feel such a difference. So you'll notice when I do it that I don't go like where my contour goes because the contour gives me enough coverage. If I wanted a fuller coverage, I would put it all over, but I don't need that fuller coverage there. So for contour, I'm using our new Astoria color. It's a cooler tone like ash, but a little warmer than ash, but it's cooler than olive and a little darker. So the contour goes right below your cheekbone. And then bring it up just a little bit where the apple is to make that stand up a little bit more. And then I put it along the top here. I'm gonna do this side a little more. And this is our Detail Hack Brush. It's my favorite one. And then I'm just gonna blend just a little bit by dabbing. It just helps marry the lines of the highlight and the contour together so that there isn't a harsh line. It just helps to blend those. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a little bit so I use amber as my um, highlight color but then I like to go back through with a lighter color and kind of do like this triangular spot just to brighten everything back up and make my eyes stand out a little bit more so I'm going to take our new shade linen and I'm going to do that there and I also like to do it here and a little bit in here like a little triangle right here and guys, I barely used a tiny bit. You don't need very much. So where I have the color underneath my eyes, like the bluish green circles, I leave my amber there, and I don't actually put it there because I don't want it to lighten that back up, but it still brightens under my eyes, but it doesn't make this stand back out. Hi, Brinley. And I did that here too, you can see. And then I just blend this in with the amber that was already there. And then I go back with this just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Guys, I should really be out doing something fun with my kids. But I'm not. So then I'm going to take 
our new blush plum, which is this one here. So this one's bare, this is nude, which is one of our most popular, and then plum is just a little bit more purpley, but it's a really good neutral still. It's super pretty on, goes so good. Everyone has loved this. It's so pretty. I want this side darker, I think. And I go back with my perfecter and just barely soften it, barely. And then I'm gonna take our new Dream Illuminator, which is this really soft pink. So guys, this doesn't stand out when you have it, just when you have it on, just on its own. Like it doesn't, like you don't notice it as we're just kind of standing here, but when the light hits it, it is seriously like magic. It's so, so pretty. Just a soft, subtle illuminator. Okay, so for eyes, like simple, brought it all back to normal, guys. It's feeling better already to have that really dry powder from Mary Kay off. So this is just a eye primer. I prefer this MAC one. There's also a couple good ones that I really love equally as much. Urban Decay has a good one, and, um, it's a, like a lotion that you put on. This is the MAC one. It's a paint pot in the color Painterly. It's just skin toned. And that just helps set your eye to help your eyeshadow stay on longer and not crease. You don't have to have it with our eyeshadows, but I like it because I feel like my shadows stay on longer with it than without. And they go on a little bit more vibrant even. It just helps hold that color. So this is Rome. I just did a quick shadow today because I didn't really want to do anything fancy. So I put just a little bit of pup right here. Okay, Ariana, I will text you. I still have your colors too, but we can rematch you where it's been summertime. If your skin's a little darker, we can also rematch you, hun. And then I put a little bit of oak down further in the crease just to deepen it just a little bit. Rome again and then I do um, I do my eyebrows I fill them in with our contour color so I'm going to use I actually mixed Astoria and Ash for mine guys this is a weird to do in the camera They're going to get a good shot of my brows. I have some I need to wax. No judgment, guys. Who has fun plans for the end of summer? Ah, oh, that's so much better. And then I also just take our other new contour, which is Cola. It's dark it's really good for our um, darker skin girls for their contour color but it's like the perfect color for liner too so I just take our eyeshadow our know your angles brush and line with that not easy to do in the camera it is weird <laughs> okay guys like that's it seriously and then I finish it off with our stay if you're oily you would do our stay spray and then you would take our vanilla dust setting powder and go over the areas that get oily with that and it will help keep it so that it isn't oily so um but I just wanted to show you the difference in the makeups and also wanted to show you guys some of our new colors so that you could see how pretty that they are and if you have any questions let me know and I'm happy to help you but I hope everybody's enjoying their summer the end of it or if you're already in school I hope you mamas enjoyed 
your first day with your kids back to school and got some stuff done. I know my house is majorly suffering, suffering from summer. So I'm gonna like break down and clean once my kids go back to school. And my house needs it, needs my attention. So anyway, have a good day and we'll talk to you later. Bye guys, thanks for watching.